<laughs> welcome. <laughs> Go ahead. Welcome to the podcast. It's what, called. What is the podcast? Uh, it's list of questions. Uh, things. List people of you questions. Like. Uh, people I love. Go on. Keep going. People you love. And. Uh, I thought I was a guest keep, on your podcast. Yes. Welcome okay. to Long Lost Sister. <laughs> Okay. I only bring up people that look a lot like me. <laughs> we do look like brother and what sister. What is the name of the podcast? It's called Me Time. Me Time. With Maggie Lawson. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Do you How like many the episodes have you done? Uh, zero. <laughs> this is it. This is the pilot. This no, is the inaugural. I've actually, I've shot, I've shot one so far. But, Who was uh, it with? It was like a fun, like make like a beauty one, kind of about me time and beauty and like makeup okay. because it's actually something I don't like know a ton about. And so part of the goal of this podcast is to bring on people who are way smarter than me and better than me at many, many, many things and learn from them. Well, I am better at you than makeup. <laughs> that's that's true. So that you're is actually not here true. to give me um, makeup tips. Did you yeah, not know that, it, guys? Uh, I moisturizing really. Tell is, me. Yeah, I mean Joel, that's the key. Tell everyone what is your favorite well, moisturizer? Ozempic. <laughs> and it's they it's now in so many different forms. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Ozempic granola, it's great. It's called Me Time with Maggie Lawson. That's the name of the podcast. Me Time yeah. with Maggie Lawson. But we're on okay. podcast because you're a very special guest and we wanted to make Be- sure we had a very special place it's for you. It's very nice of you. I don't know who's spending the money, but it was a mistake. It was <laughs> Do you have uh, any liquid death? I'm, oh, we, an entire fridge. We have an entire and fridge. And some Celsius. But, uh, but you're drinking diet. Diet Coke. Yeah. You still love the Diet Coke. I do. I kind of do too. Yeah. I'm it's not bad drift. for you. As No, everyone's like, uh, but there's no evidence at all. Zero. Really? Absolutely. See, you are an expert on these topics. Like, I would that's know. That's why Joel's here. Actually. I would know. I love what... that we're talking to an audience that's like, well, you got these guys. People. Look at these fun. She's Hi, taping everyone. the entire thing. Okay. Even though we have 12 cameras around. We do. We have a, mis- a gazillion cameras around. That's actually true. Maggie no. Lawson. Hi. The last time we saw each other was at Little Bear, which is a restaurant in Atlanta. Yeah. We were doing a I Can See Your Voice, which is the first time I've ever done any sort of like. Yes. With a talentless Ken Jong. With a t- <laughs> you hear that, Ken? Yeah. I know you'll hear this. I said it. I was really hoping Ken. for some Ken jokes, so I'm so happy now. There you go. First See, one of the day. Part of my, one of my favorite things about me time is listening to Joel McHale make jokes about Ken Ken Jong. Jong? Yeah. 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 That's a shot across the bow, Ken. So I went to Atlanta to do uh, this show, and I have to say, I was like completely blown away because you had to take over as host mm. in like a very last minute change mm. because, yes. you know, and I don't, uh, well, whatever. I don't even know if that's public, but. Uh, no, we don't need to make anything public, but just let's just make say. Make it public. Yeah, no, Ken now tested it positive. Really, yeah. So, yeah, no, I was there. Yeah. And it all worked out great. I was so excited to be a judge with you, but then you got to pick on me as a host, which was even better. See, I became emotional during that show because that one guy won a bunch of money. I felt like I I was uh, was good at my guesstimates. I would say you were too. I did all right. Yeah, no, you held your. But the thing is, if everyone's really good at guessing, then then it'd be well. No, I guess it can be good. No, it was no no. It, you were good. Yeah, I was good. But you were can funny. We just admit that I, I yeah. don't think I was that funny. I took it very. I take games very seriously. Like oh. I'm very competitive, and I feel like I get a little over excited so I get people like when I leave a game night at someone's house I, oh, I have you are lost one of those friends a hundred percent I'm like that way every tenth time I do it okay like why if, every tenth time like I just remember the last time I got into an argument with this friend of mine who uh about the rules of billiards like I was like no we have to and so I was like I then we were looking them up and I was like ah this is ridiculous what's and, ridiculous oh that we were so impassioned Upset about, about the yeah. rules I mean, but on I, those game shows, I'm always like, and, well, we're playing a game of firefighter. Absolutely. And you, uh, it, it was we, the you perfect have to guess timing. where well done, you guys. the fire is. <laughs> where is engine 409 going? <laughs> okay, so back to Atlanta. We went to Atlanta. We had Johnny such Duff's a nice house. time. We went to, <laughs> oh, he's in, never mind. Um, <laughs> he's in Cannes right now. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So we were in Atlanta and I arrived. You were so sweet. You were like, we have a reservation at one of the greatest restaurants in Atlanta, which I was so great. excited. Because you are, you're a foodie. Yeah, I'm a snob. You are a foodie snob. About a lot of things. You're a whiny snob. Big time. Yeah. And yeah. I'm, look, I have this gluten-free thing, which you learned about. But I'm right. also kind of a foodie, too. They were so sweet that night at Little Bear. They were like, they kept bringing us all of the best dishes. And they were like, don't worry, you can eat this. It was very, very, very nice. Right, there's just a little bit of wheat. But you've got to find it. <laughs> but I'm such You'll a pain in the ass. You'll know when you eat it. 
Yes. No, they were. I thought. I thought they did, they do a very good job of of avoiding gluten. Yeah. No, they did a really good uh, job taking care of. But us. you know that I, I love that. And we got to meet that dog. The name of the leader. restaurant is. It's named after a gigantic dog who is so very cute and comes to visit. Yeah. So that's the last time we saw each other. Yeah, I just went there a uh, la- month and a half ago. I saw your post about it. Oh, yes. Made me miss great it. great Beck Bennett. I want to go back. I want to do that show again. It was very fun. Yeah, I would like to, too. Yeah. So, How do you have time? Okay. Let's get into me time, Joel. Me time. Let's talk about a little Joel time. You know what Joel my me time is? Time. Sitting on a plane. Okay. so I love sitting on a plane. I really do. People like, I hate it. I'm like, oh. That's when I turn my phone off and watch some television. I was just about to say, so are you a Wi-Fi person, get work done, or are you the kind of person that's like, no, no, this is my me time? Yeah, I don't connect to Wi-Fi. When I say me time, is it like an eye roll for you, or is it kind of like, no, no, I know what me time means. Uh, I don't use that phrase. Okay. (laughs) Uh, What do I I call me time? We'll just call it Joel time for I call it uh, like just hyperventilating in a corner. (laughs) You okay. see that Will Smith movie where he's in New York and he's, uh, you know, it's the end of the world and yeah. he discovers the zombies and they're all just they're huddled around huffing? That's me. Like, why? That's, that's oh. Well, let's get it. No, I want to hear it though. Okay. So your time, your me time is mostly spent on plates. So that's what I was going to say is you're like truly one of, like, you never stop working. You were working, you're looking at my nails. You were looking at my long nails. No, 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 oh, no. Okay. All right. Your costume jewelry. Oh, uh, my. See what I did? It's I was able to go right around your nail comment. Uh, you actually were, and that was a little bit of this is not costume jewelry. See, there you go. This is real, real stuff. Do you I think, think if you're I avoiding actually, talking about me? Do you think time. if it was actually if I actually thought it was costume jewelry, I would point that out? No, I know, I know you're making a joke, but it stopped me from making the joke that I was making because True. I think you don't want to talk Look, about me. It's time. beautiful jewelry, except that necklace is off. <laughs> do I even uh, have a necklace on? <laughs> see. <do. laughs> Uh, No, I don't, uh, like, my wife meditates every morning. Okay. She's really good about that. But, like, sitting and not talking for a minute is, uh, you know, causes mild panic. Why? I'm kidding. No, I just like to be in motion. So if I'm going to do that, it's like either like a run or a, a bike ride, a bike ride, you know, on an electric bike going 30 miles an hour. I prefer that sort of thing. So you prefer to be in motion. So Okay, so you're traveling all the time. You literally, again, you never stop, which is why. Yeah. I feel like there are a lot of podcasts out there about, like, really successful people and then, like, you know, all their tips to, like, create that success. And I want to do the podcast that's, like— I can tell you. What is your downtime that helps you be— everything you need to be in like the moments you need to be like your favorite things to do joel McHale has a free hour to do something t- for himself what does he do uh, i would go on bring a trailer and look at used cars bring a trailer yeah it's a great website wait hold on is this get, bring a trailer hold on, part two of <laughs> where is the firefighter going <laughs> there's so many uh, acts yes johnny depp's house story. is burned down but who's is next okay. jenna elfman's yeah right. you love cars so jenna hmm. elfman's why did we why did you pick jenna elfman because I thought Johnny Depp was a pretty, you know, like he's, uh, yeah, it's a name you hear a lot, but Jenna Elfman also wildly famous, but uh, not, he, she is not Johnny Depp. Jenna, ble- she's very nice. But I, I believe me, I wish I was Johnny Depp. Uh, I mean, <laughs> other than, you know, more recently uh, with all the. <laughs> Keep going. I'm well, not going to no, say anything. Well, no, it's just a lot of scarves and a lot of bracelets. <laughs> Okay. You know, costume jewelry. Now, he's, <laughs> all right. I met costume. him once, and he seemed Stop nice. Stop with the costume jewelry. Look, I can't. I look. I know you love shopping. He's a pirate. He's found treasures. <laughs> they're yeah, they're like real. Four hundred million dollars <laughs> worth of treasures. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, go he on. seems. Uh, his crew love him, so that's that goes a long way in my book. Okay, good. What am I talking about? We're Did talking you? about houses that are on fire because the fire. Oh, because of the uh, game show. Uh, yes. So me time. Yeah. Oh, I like playing tennis now. Okay. I, I like used that. To, I used to play as a kid, and then I grew to hate it, and now I love it again. Okay. so uh, But exercise is always like a me time thing. Right. Also, but that's like also like a part of your like probably daily like it's schedule. Like, yeah. Yeah, but for me to listen to a book while exercising, great. Really? Because you can turn your brain off. You just have to focus yeah. on something else. So it's kind of like a meditative thing for you. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. but then I'm always distracted. And then I got to turn off my phone. It's so you're really good at me time. That's what I'm hearing. Terrible. <laughs> you're really Terrible. good at it. I do the dishes every night and that, well, I'm burping. I do the dishes every night and that kind of is a time when I I can, love doing the dishes. It's yeah. like therapy. I can watch basketball while it's happening. Okay, so that's like a million things. Yeah, no, that makes that makes a ton of sense. But like, okay, 
So do you have any like vicey like, okay, this is my one hour before or my like two hours before I have to like go. Do you smoke cigars? Do you like, uh, is it I having usually glass of wine? like murder a stranger. Okay. <laughs> Just in cold blood. <laughs> like I don't know them. Doesn't matter what walk of life they are. Okay. You just like uh, to murder a stranger in cold yeah. blood, and then you feel like yourself again. And then, you know, yeah, a lot. You're like recharged. Right. That's how like, Joel McHale great. recharges his batteries. Oh, yeah. Horrible. Uh, what, no, Do I, you sleep? Well, I, I don't sleep well. Okay, I didn't sleep got well it. last night. Right. Sometimes I sleep well. You never know. I will, well, I guess my vice would be, yeah, I like drinking wine. Okay. That's one of my favorite things on the planet. So many sirens. Yeah, there's something bad happening. I feel like... <laughs> I think my wine room might be burning <laughs> yeah. down. Oh, my God. Do you have a wine room? Come on. I have multiple wine rooms. Okay, tell me uh, about your... No, wine. I do have a little room. Okay, tell me... We tell me converted about part of the... Uh, house into your wine room? Yeah, part of... Jeez, Louise. Something bad happened. That's, thir- that's the third round of sirens. I feel like something... I feel like this is... There's some weird intervention happening on our podcast. It's just like... Every of time firefighters we, that are showing no, up No, every time us? we like get into like a topic, it's like... Meow, so we're like, oh, mm. we can't talk about that. That was well, not. That was my siren sound. I am so easily distracted from my. Uh, I have undiagnosed or diagnosed ADHD type thing. So it's, okay, it's almost. If I'm not moving and scattered, then I don't feel like myself. Okay, so moving makes you feel like yourself, which is what you're constantly doing. What, yeah. Okay, and then okay, so I want to go back to your wine There's room though a, for a second. Oh, great. <laughs> you're more comfortable I talking like about yeah. that. Um, I heard something the other day that was like. There, it was something, I forget what it's called. It's like the avoid, it's like you want to avoid your nicest bottles, right? Because you have to have them mm-hmm. for long periods of time. Not some. I mean, some, some. So you want to like, but then like, I know for me, and I have nothing like you have, but I love wine as well. But for me, I, I try to have like maybe a couple bottles that I can always reach for that I don't feel bad just like drinking by myself or mm-hmm. I'm not opening one of my more expensive ones. Like what's your kind of go-to nightly, because we drink every night. Um, Every night. Uh, <laughs> or, no, or I have a bottle. bunch of, you know, it's like a rotating. Rotating thing. Yeah. What is it for you right now? What's your like, what's the trend? Uh, is it red, white? Chateau Moussard. Oh, Chateau Moussard. Is it really? Uh, yeah. I just it's had, a Lebanese red that is just fucking great. I just had that for the, yeah. like, the first time when I was it's in so uh, Utah. Oh, my God. Really? In Utah. I That's... was visiting friends there. Yeah. And they were like big Chateau Moussard people. And I yeah. was like, yeah. Oh, they, and is... they have a cool story and all that. And yeah. So and it's a, it's a, I like a big red, but it's very nice and complex and great. And... I love that that's your like nightly drinker that it's one's not the one, well, small like that's there is not light like that's no like it a, is not light and it's also but i'm not, not a huge like i don't like american pinots very much but i like a french pinot a lot thank you very much uh, <laughs> but uh it's really a wrote like when you store bo- old bottles that are you, know, you have to be careful because they can easily go bad and then you're you're like thank god i saved that bottle of wine that, that i know would have been great four years ago they should have like an alarm system i feel like on well you on can just bottles. look it up you're like when i'll forget though i feel like if i just had something that like reminded me all like i say that like, like i have your why i don't have like anything an alarm like a wine club. i well you could put an alarm on it like boop. No, you can put it in the calendar. <laughs> right. You can put it in your eye. Cl- your eye cl- oh, that's yeah. true. I guess like, I could do that myself. But wouldn't a wine alarm be fun? Am I crazy? No. My wine alarm goes off at 5 o'clock. <laughs> okay, so that's your me time. This is Well, this is, no, I'm usually doing something. Like, oh, at 5 o'clock because you never stop. Okay, so, all right, Joel. So if you had to say, like, your, okay, your, your number one thing that you do, which would be, obviously, you just said in motion, but, like, your number one thing that you do that you're like, okay, now I feel like myself again. Like oh, if geez. say you're a little bit off the charts and it's just like, I'm a little oh, no, bit I'm like- I'm always in kind of a mild panic. Right. Uh, I'm always like, what's, what are we doing? Because you're working all, like you work constantly. I, I really do you. like a, like a golden retriever. I love moving. And so if I can hit a tennis ball, oh. I mean, then I'm just like, great. I uh, love that. I'll, you- I'll be like, I. Ken and I went to the basketball game the other night and he- he was like, I'll be there around 3.30, and at 3.22, he's like, I'm 10 minutes out. And I was on – I had just played for two hours. And, yeah, that's my – now I'm like 51 years old. I'm like, oh, I wonder how many years left I have in being able to run around and smack a ball around. Okay. So I'm like, I better get it in before I need my hips and knees replaced. <laughs> You're going to be fine. See, You're, those are the uh, mild panics I go into, you guys. So fit. I do that. I do that, too. I mean, I have all I have all kinds of alarms going off at 42 uh, as well because I feel. Also, I think, I mean, Joel, you don't look anything 
No, I like a, don't look a day over 48. You, <laughs> you <laughs> no. <laughs> well, it's nothing that, you know. You look younger than 48. Seriously, what is your moisturizer? I want to know. It's like a Sangiovese from Northern Italy. <laughs> Okay, just, so this is a wine sleep podcast face down now. And get, sleep down. Very, very self, my selfish podcast about uh, about me time, but it is kind of because I just want to hang out with all of my favorite people oh, and talk about. Well, you're one of the best, and uh, you know we ha- we share Mr. Tim Amundsen as our great friend. So, d- Joel, I and I know people know like you're a wonderful human being, but you're like a mm. next level. No, next level. You- Which level? Okay. You know, Joel is one of the. Okay, there. Oh no, I can I can tie myself with up with self loathing all day long. D- okay, I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna throw you off every time. <laughs> Let me pay you a compliment, Joel. Look at those rings. <laughs> Talk about Captain Jack Sparrow. Oh, this oh is so I just did Michael Bol- I did Michael Bolton's podcast. Tell- Fun fact. I just did it, and I'm very you know Michael Bolton. I kissed Michael Bolton. Go on, tell was me your a, story though. Or was there a restraining order that you broke through or I, something? <laughs> that, that I you, broke through? You, well, that you were the well, fan. Like, she was like, here she comes again, and uh, she jumps up on stage. Okay. No. 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 What show was it? Um Wait, I want to hear your story first, but I just had to, like, one-up your story before you even Oh, he and I did a game show, and I'm not kidding. We did To Tell the Truth. and Oh, you did? We uh, got—I we. I, I just really liked him, and thank God he liked me. And and then I'm like, it's fucking Michael Bolton. Mm-hmm. And, uh, what he did you inter- and Michael well, Bolton It's a talk weird about? thing to go on podcasts where the podcast—the interviewer is more, way more famous than the interviewee. <laughs> so I was just like, Michael, I'm just going to ask Shut you questions. Up. Yeah. <laughs> So Shut I was up. like, tell me about, you know, I was like, what, you know, like, who's the, like, what was the, cre- what was one of the most, like, I asked him, like, moment in your life where you were like, I can't believe this. And he was like, ah, I was on stage with Luciano Pavarotti in, in Italy. And I was like, that's a good one. Wait, hold on. He, he has his own podcast? Yeah, he doesn't come out yet. Oh, okay. Oh, you're but just But I'll doing see you on Michael Bolton's podcast, everybody. podcast. I love this so much. Wait, hold on. So he, you interviewed him on his own podcast. Well, as you can tell, yes. I'm a mightily distracted human being. You're way more comfortable throwing it back to the other. Oh yeah, person. there's nothing. It's like Tennessee. Oh, I'm Tennis. gonna get you, but go on. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. So we, I just sat there and was like, you know, tell me about, you know, what was I mean? Because he ex- he was so big, and he was so big. He was. Oh, he talked about meeting the queen. Okay. And the queen going like, oh. Are you going on tour this summer? Like, like asking him questions and not just, you oh, know. Oh, she was the, like starstruck to meet Michael she, Yeah, Bolden. she knew Michael Bolton. Oh, my God. I love this. That's pretty good. I was also a little starstruck. I, okay, so it was, I did what the, was the show? last season of Two and a Half Men. And I had this very weird arc where I was going on to play a social worker to help. It was uh, Ashton Kutcher and John Cryer get a, a, adopt a child. Right. And so they were pretending to be... Uh, gay. And they, uh, after like the third episode, comes out that they're not a couple. And I end up dating John Cryer's character. And then I end up dating Ashton Lester's character. <laughs> so, and then we, as, so he has this like fantasy of basically Which one had all the things. Fantasy? Ashton Kutcher has this fantasy of all these things. If I remember correctly, it was like how things could go horribly wrong. And I can't remember what triggers it, but like, I'm going to leave him for Michael for Bolton. Michael Bolton. So we like cut to me like in full like I don't even know what I'm dressed as. Like I had push up everything and this really tight dress on and my hair was really big. It was really obnoxious. And then I see him like years later and Michael Bolton comes in and he's my my guy. And you're So in his fantasy it's that Michael Bolton has stolen uh it took me away from him or whatever and then we had a nice little kiss. Not so did you kiss John Cryer and Ashton Kutcher? And Michael Bolton. And Michael Bolton. All? <laughs> All in one season. In a, that's, <laughs> yeah. That's a hat trick. Yeah, it was. It was a real hat trick. But I love that this podcast is now us talking about our Michael Bolton stories. That was a very fun experience, actually. He was he was a little nervous. I think I calmed him down, though. How did you calm him down? You know, we just, no, uh, we just like broke the ice a little bit. And well, I think about, like, he... Has no problem standing in front of thousands of yeah. people. Yeah. And then, you know, so I'm like, oh, say lines, here's yeah. the camera. Start, and then you kind of, oh, you, I forget those things too. I'm like, oh, right. But, you know, 
If you I were to sing, how am I supposed to live without you in front of uh, 30,000 people, it would be nerve wracking. I think I'd, that's. I'd probably collapse. You, I think you'd be great. Well, there's not a copyright on talking about okay, people. Okay, great. I, I feel good. Wait, is something uh, messed up? I think the engineer quit. Joel, what did you do? Okay, back to tennis. He's very offended. Good job, Mo. He was Thanks. like, I'm not going to, this is theft. He just um, sang Michael Bolton songs. Joel, back to tennis. Yeah. Yeah. Um, back to me time. Back to me time. Back to. The problem with tennis, you usually <sighs> got to, well, you got to hit it back to somebody. And so I have to recruit right. uh, either my wife or okay. one of my sons. So what is your favorite thing to do alone? Work out. Yeah, work out. No, I'm not I'm not tossing you that. What's your favorite uh, thing to do alone? I mean, boy, I like to say that I'm like, oh, I'm going to catch up on television. And then I don't. Okay. That I'm, was going to lead me to another question, which is like, do you have any guilty pleasure things that you do when you're like... Again, I think killing the stranger was pretty guilt. I feel guilt. I mean, I don't really feel guilt. Yeah. Uh-huh. If I drink too much wine, I'm like, oh, you drank too much wine. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, so the wine part can lead to like, uh, I do that yeah, too. Yeah, I buy stuff, you know, on, on Amazon. What do you buy? I just bought a bunch of olive oil. Really? And my wife was like, do we need this much olive oil? I'm like, you never know. Yeah, you said earlier when you run out I of peanut like butter. I have like a supply of shit. And uh, yeah, that's when the hoarding, I'm like, it's nice hoarding. But like I have too many barbecues and too many coolers. I don't need them all. But is it because they like send them to you obviously and like to promote or is it because you're like, I need all of these and I'm too afraid to give one up because this one does that one special thing that I need it to do and so I can't let it go. It's a combo. It's a combo, okay. <laughs> yeah, no. And my wife was like, do we need all this stuff? So, you know, I know that Amy Poehler show just came out. What is it? About like getting Tidying? rid of stuff. Yeah, getting rid of stuff. And I'm like, oh yeah, I probably should do that. Yeah, you probably should, Joel. We have this, we bought this house like six years ago and we're like, we'll never fill it. All you filled stuff. it. Yeah, I have. And and you made a wine room on top of it. On top of that. Yeah. No, and then I have, you know, like wine overflow. Right. Right. You can share any of that wine overflow with me All anytime right. you want, I'll by the way. Ca- Thanks for the bottle of wine, though. What? Oh, you're welcome. Here's the thing about Maggie Lawson. I'm good. What about me? Very good actor. Very mm-hmm. funny actor, too. Me? Yeah. That's very nice. I want to go back to what well, a great you know. person you are. Okay, great. Yeah. This is going to make me feel good. Because this is my point about saying, I don't know that people know. Like, you are, oh, wait, you are literally like, okay, you show up. You're the person that, like, shows up. There are a lot of people who talk about showing up. There are a lot of people who will, like, you know, they do what they need to do. Yeah, you're the person who does it. You're the person who shows up. You're here today. But you're, like, the person who, I mean, so we shared Tim, and this is why. You know, Tim Amundsen. Tim Amundsen. And we had done... The Great Indoors at that point, but I don't think we'd done Santa Clarita Diet. Like, we uh, kind of knew each other. Right. We definitely knew. I mean, I remember when you got cast, and I was like, oh, great. Yes. Oh, that was so, that, by the way, I'm so, I'm so glad that happened because. That was great. That was really fun. And I loved that show. Yeah, I did so too. so good on it. And then it was canceled. Then it was canceled. <laughs> After you one season. You predicted the election. I did. You predicted the 2020, uh, sorry, 2016 election. I did. And yeah. I was, uh, everyone on set was literally yelling at you. You also predicted, because I reached out to you, and I was like, tell me, tell me what your gut is saying on the last one, too. Because I remember there was, like, that moment yeah. where we were all yeah. like, what's going to happen? You're like, my, how are you my political person as well? Yeah, I, I, like, well, I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I've just, I'm, ne- I'm usually not, I mean, uh, but for whatever reason with the last two, I was like, oh, yeah, I know, I think I know what's going to happen. You really did know it was going to happen. But People anyway. on that first one were like, yeah. So Tim anyway. came to see us, and that was, like, where we kind of connected. And then yeah. later on, um, Tim um, suffered a stroke in 2017. I can't believe it's five years ago. I can't either. By the way, we just spent the whole weekend. Where were you guys? Where were you guys? We were in Detroit for uh, Motor City Comic Con, oh. which was, like, a really, really, really fun. And we did our podcast. Uh, we did a live show of our podcast. Oh, that's great. It was... Can I tell you, like, he, you put him on stage and it's like everything, like, he's like. He lights up. Lights up. Like, yep. it's, he's incredible. Performer. He is such a performer. And he's so, because he has that spirit anyway, like, I mean, he's just, uh, obviously, I mean, he's just, the, he's so great and we love him so much. But, yeah. like, that is where I feel like he has, like, he needs to be on stage. Like, he needs to be in that setting a lot. He was so, and then we spent a lot of the time talking about you. 
great. I said, I said, I would yes! see you. But we also talk about just like what you did for him during that time. Like oh, you I sent have... very inappropriate videos to him, guys. But they were, but they were sent because you knew how happy it made him. Like you were so uh, on it every single day. He, you know, I checked his phone. Like I went to visit him a couple weeks after. So he came. He came to, uh, he came back to LA. So this happened in Tampa. Right. Yeah. And then he was flown somehow that he. To LA, to Century yeah. City, somewhere in Century City. So I think they medevaced him or something. Yeah. And I happened to have like a little break and I was able to go see him. And when I went to see him, the one thing he just wanted his phone. And he kept saying, like, like uh, I was like, Tim, you have like 7,000 messages from people. And he was like, just go to Joel. <laughs> I swear to God, he was just Because I kept all... making fun of him. No. I was just like, hey, Tim, you've had a catastrophic stroke. <laughs> You're fucked. <laughs> You're totally you fucked. <laughs> You'll probably never walk again. Bye. <laughs> but it made him so happy, and you knew it made him so happy, and you did it for him every single day, and then you showed up on Psych to play his dad in a flashback, which was yeah. like the most special Tricked thing that him. ever happened. Anyway, that's just like my... like. You you have the kindest heart. You are like the the hardest working person who never takes any me time. Mm. But you also have this like huge heart. You just took your nephew to the airport this morning. Like you never well, stop. How else and was you, he going to get to the airport? I know. <laughs> but like. <laughs> sure, meaning, he's on the terror watch list, but whatever. But you're still like super. <laughs> you're still super uncle, super dad, super husband. Like you are oh, I the can, show I can, I can flip it around the other way and tell you why I'm awful. So why, are, why do you, why do you oh, go well, to that place? Because I'm always, I'm always, because uh, yeah, I don't know why. But I was raised Catholic. Uh, Same. See? Uh, yeah, I get no, it. But I always feel guilty when I'm gone, and I'm gone a lot. So right, I'm not burping. It's yeah, great. yeah. But you know, uh, but not you know. But yeah, this crazy, ridiculous business. I mean, I don't. I say yes to too many things, probably. But but what, like what? the new show shoots out of town, and that you know it. But I wanted to do the show, and you know the show's good, and so I'm like, oh well, that's it requires us me being gone, and that sucks. That's show. But, but I like you know, like I love the work, right? Uh, but I just do you have like a fear if you turn if you said no? Well, who wants to say no anyway? I mean, you love what you do. Like I do. I'm. So, I still to this day can't believe I am paid to do. I cannot believe I paid to act or tell fart jokes right <laughs> i can't believe like to, like i can't believe it your sh your show just got picked up for a season two which is it's the such a good show. it's so cute oh, i think it's so cute you. and you're great on there but we'll see when we come back when i when, whenever that is it'll be it all oh, right it'll well still the, for those of you listening or watching it's during the writer's strike right, right now right wj strong wj uh, strong yeah yeah so. now potential sag yeah. As well. I think it'll happen, too. No, I think it will, too. Um, and then we'll be doing a lot of podcasting. And then we're, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like getting a little ahead of it right now mm -hmm. to get this in. When I see you or when we're talking, like, I'll see you're like in, in your, in the spaces in between, you're also still flying, you're like going on tour comedy wise as well. Like, yeah. you're still doing that. Yeah, I'm still doing that. And yeah. hosting yeah. and doing, you do everything. All There's the time. So yeah. you, but that's like There's... so rare, I feel like, for people, like you can, you span the whole thing. I feel like a lot of people kind of get well, in there one Well, my dancing is also pretty incredible. <laughs> a lot of people talk about it. It's very interpretive. Okay. When, <laughs> I mean, we have a little floor right here if you. Well, uh, I've not stretched out. Right. Okay. <laughs> and I don't have. Out. Wait, is this Joel I don't McHale? have the horse head that I wear during it. <laughs> <laughs> interpretive, uh, ritualistic a lot of that. dances. You saw Midsummer, right? I did. Yeah, it's like in, that. In, his, in his me time. The, yeah, that's my me time. That's your me time. Yeah, when, my, my my assistant let me know. My assistant, thank you. She was like, I checked you in for a hundred flights last year, and I was like, Oh, that was that's a lot. Holy. Yeah. Shit, Joel. It's a lot of that's a lot of flying. How many points do you have? I have so many. Like so, I'm in every, I'm in every, like you know, platinum uh, level. Do you basically. ever? It's, I, which is not necessarily something to brag about because you're like, boy, you really spend a lot of time away from home. It's great. Do you use them though for vacation? Do you ever take a? Vacation? We're going to Europe uh, <gasps> for a vacation, uh, but yeah, we. I mean, I can use miles, so right. That's when I use them when I cash them in. When you know, like it's a Europe when, when it's something like that. How often do you take a vacation? Well, um, 
Well, mm, like the last time I sat on a beach. <laughs> yes. Yes. 10 years. Uh, easily. Really? Yeah. But do you like that? So that was one of my questions for you. Like a beach, beach or mountain person? Or are you like an adventure versus like totally chill read a book person? Which I think I know the answer to now after the conversation we've Well, been I having. can't read really. Yeah. Oh, so I'm, and there's uh, that. I can only listen to books. <laughs> I'm super dyslexic. Oh, that's, that's right. I knew that. Yeah. We... Like, if I sat on a beach and read a book, I'd probably go into a blind panic. Okay, got it. Um, so no I would beaches. probably run into the ocean. <laughs> Never come and out. Be like, I'm going to get a swordfish and then try to catch one in my mouth. Well, I guess last year counted technically as uh, we went to a wedding in England. So uh, it was for a wedding. Yeah, it was for a wedding. <laughs> so we got to London and drove three hours. Okay. It was great. But it wasn't like your yeah, vacation. I mean, that's a vacation, I guess. But it's it, like, it is like growing up, my parents never, it was all like, we never, we never as a family went to a beach and like for a vacation. It was living in Seattle. Let's, we're going to drive to Chicago, visit family and drive back. That was the vacation, right. which now when I look back, I'm like, those are, that's glorious time. So it's like uh, a purpose. You have a purpose. You, you like to have a purpose usually for like maybe going, but you're. Which a, I shouldn't really. I mean, I should relax and getting a massage is always great i always like a massage but i haven't gotten one in a while now we're talking joel's a, a spa, a spa yeah. guy or like an in like you don't like to go to the spa but you like to have someone come to you kind of thing no i i don't mind going to the place because yeah. uh, if i had them come to the house there would be 200 interruptions so right because yeah. you never stop so yeah. do you get nervous in your massage when your, like, phone is off and you have to, like, go into a spa and they're, like— For the first few minutes, yeah. And then you sink into it. And then I'm like, all right, great. This is—now I can be taken away. And that's great. But I don't—I usually do them when I'm out of town okay. because I don't build in enough time. That's what I was thinking. Like, when you're in Atlanta or you're in Vancouver or when you're, like— you know, oh, and you yeah. got the call, like, hey, we actually don't need you today. You have the rest of the day and the morning off tomorrow. Do you fill it with work? Yeah, I'll be like, okay, you can schedule those things so I can get on get on a couple Zooms in the afternoon. You work well like that. I feel like I, I okay, yeah. Once in a while, but it doesn't, I mean, like on this last show, like I always flew home for the weekends. Oh, right, that's uh, good. So I was always hoping for like a two or three days, like if I could get a three-day weekend, great. So Joel McHale's me time is on planes when you yeah. turn his phone No, is it, and phone now off. I just realize it's sad. And, yeah. uh, <laughs> It's just a sad. I'm just trying to get to. I was like, you were like, oh, I'm ADD, I'm still, and I'm and just like, so what are your challenges with getting into your me time, Joel? What happens? Why I we got to get you into? I just like, don't do it. No, I really do love work. I really like it. Like I, and which is, I understand people are like, yeah, but you need to. But you know, when I'm on set acting or jumping around on stage or something, I'm like, oh, this is this is relaxing, and, right? I like that. I, everything else, like the logistics is not fun, but... Uh, so work itself kind of fills the bucket for you. Like it brings you back. Or not yeah, brings you back, like you've left, but the, you know what I mean. The satisfaction of that. Right. It's pretty great. I've never... I mean, now with, I mean, the blocking out time for vacations and stuff, we haven't really... We don't really do that. Right. <laughs> we should. Yeah, my wife, I'll probably go home and be like, yeah, we should block out a couple weeks, right? <laughs> Just hang out. We spent a lot of time in Seattle, so where... You're from. Yeah, where my family lives, so that we'll, we're, we'll be doing that more. Where in Europe are you going on your trip? Ireland. <gasps> really? Yeah, I've only been to Northern Ireland. I've never been to Ireland, and it's oh. like my... I'm And it Irish. looks like you're in Ireland right now. Does it? Oh, it does. Yeah. Yeah. See? This is my we're this is go me visit, time from uh, Ireland. We're going to do what every American does and go to the town that my dad's family came from. Of course. Not, I know that every American doesn't go to my father's town, but... Uh, but what is it? What's the town? I don't rem. It's like Iclay or something. Okay. That's a made-up word. You I, I don't yeah. know what it is. Okay. Uh, but I'm told, like, my little brother, little brother, my younger brother, but I'm much bigger than him. Uh, no, uh, he, he's, he arranged, like, he's like, this is where we're going to end up going. I'm like, great. Sounds good. It sounds like a good time. How fun, though. You're going to go see, like, where your, where your dad's side Right. Is. I can't wait to tell the Irish. I'm walking and go like, hi, I'm an American. Apparently, I have ancestors from here. And they're yeah. like, oh, great. Another one. Another <laughs> yeah. asshole showing no, up. No, you're Joe McHale. They're going to be so excited to see you. Oh, no, they're going to be like, I can't, oh, you're the guy who, from the thing. That it's going to be great. The, that no. happens all the time. They'll be like. Do I, am I supposed to know you? I'm like, no. yes, we go to high school. We went to high school together. You're doing that thing that like, that like, so that everyone knows who you are, Joel. You're going to walk do in not. Yeah. Just went to the Laker game with Ken Jong. 
Mm-hmm. And it was like walking around with Prince. <laughs> uh, it was Wait, really? crazy. <laughs> Hold on, stop it. He was, I was like, Ken, we're, <laughs> you're going to get mobbed. This It was like... You know, and you were with him? You're making this up. I There's am dead no way serious. that you were walking People around. looked at him and like, and I was like, the power of Ken is he's, yeah. It's, you know when uh, like you take a huge hand in a bird seed and you throw it and then the pigeons just jump on top of it? That's what was happening to Ken. I was like, we're not going to be able to go to the bathroom. Yeah, I want to know all your favorite things, Joel. I want to know at least three things you can't live without right now. Three things I can't live without. Well, oxygen. Oh, well, oh, uh, literal food, yeah. shelter, copy, clothing. Okay. Three things I can't live without. Oh, I am constantly paranoid about keeping my phone charged. Okay. I have a huge battery in my bag that I brought because, you know, it's not like I can just charge the phone in my car as I drove here. Right. But no, just in case. <laughs> My poor wife, she's like, another fucking battery pack showed up. I'm like, well, you never know. <laughs> so and I'm like, and she's like, you do know. You what are you ever- a hoarder. Yeah. That's funny. I've never talked about that. Yeah. No, I just like, well, maybe we'll need it. And uh, yeah. Okay. And I, the number of cords yeah. I have. Oh, and I have like like nail clippers. <laughs> like when people are looking around for nail clippers, I was like, I'll never look for another nail clipper in my life. Okay. I'm going to buy 20 of them and spread them around the house. <laughs> so so it just you think I'm joking I no I'm They're laughing everywhere. because I feel you like I'm similar I have similar other things I'm laughing because I believe yeah, you yeah I have enough duct tape to <laughs> hold the ship together why duct tape you just never know but but specifically duct tape or like shipping tape because you're like duct tape <laughs> okay because your chargers break and you have to like put them oh, back no, I wouldn't together keep a broken charger I'd throw that away <laughs> you it's, only it's have clean chargers <laughs> Yeah, no, I realize now, I mean, I really do collect too much. Like, I literally, I have, I have like six coolers, and I don't use them very much at all. Coolers? But like, just in case. Just in case. I think I bought one. That's true. I'm I get going a lot of, fr- like, this is the stupid thing. You get a lot of free shit. Yeah. And yeah. they give you, like, wine is a great gift. And uh, so, because it gets consumed, but, like, they're like, we got you a Yeti cooler. And oh, I'll yeah. be like, yeah, I'll take that in a heartbeat. But then, yeah, so I, I fucking love Yeti coolers. Um, but and then, I, yeah, it's not a great look. Wait, what else do you have? To have oh, so now, many. Now I want to talk about People probably just hoarding. think I'm stealing organs or something. <laughs> what? But I want to know, what do you What do you feel like you, you oh, need Oh, I like cooler? cars. I mean, I, I buy cars. You do buy cars. Yeah, but yeah. I have, but they're restorable cars, so. Restorable cars. Like, you? do you do that yourself? Oh, fuck no. Okay. My friend Brian does it. Okay, your friend Brian, because I've seen your Bronco. Like, you probably love a Bronco, but like, is it Broncos? No, no it's Defenders. Land Cruisers. Land Cruisers, got it. Yeah, okay. I have a 1990 Land Cruiser That's and a 1970 Land Cruiser. So cool. Yes. I remember you coming to work a couple of times, and I, well, I remember every day I'd be like, which car is he bringing today? Oh, Because our yeah. parking spots were next to each other for See? one of them. Yeah. It was exciting. Uh, no, I get excited. I, I never was a car person, and then as soon as I could afford them, I was like, oh, I like that. That's cool. Okay. And then you were like, I need another one. Yeah, my my rule is, it's not a rule, but I was like, they have to, you know, they have to be, it can't just be, I'm not just going to be like, and I, I collecting, because I just want, I want to restore them, and then I'll eventually. I love this, kind of, because I feel like it's like, you like to just have multiples of things because it brings you peace. Or panic. Or, Maybe there's just a lot of shit lying around. You see how many fucking suitcases I have. I was. I, uh, I'll be like, favorite? now this is the perfect one, and then it's not. Wait, either. is it like? Do you pick your a different suitcase every time, or do you? I feel like you must just have a suitcase packed always. That's like kind of okay. All right. Like I have, like my backpack is packed right now. To ready go to anywhere. Go, to go, um, the only thing I need to add is my iPad and, you know, a couple of chargers. Uh, <laughs> a but couple it has more. like my, you know, like my passport. It already has money in there. It has a tiny flashlight. How and many flashlights do you have? So many. What? Okay. Is this kind of like an everything? Do you I think have, like, I, growing up, we had such shitty flashlights right. that I was like, I'll never be without a great flashlight. In case of emergency? Well, you never know. You just never know. Right. I mean, we do have them on our I phones now. I mean, we have now. like, Po- true, but you know, sometimes possum like come into our property and the dogs freak out, and then I'll go like looking for it. And the, the, the cell phone, I mean, a, a flashlight on your cell phone's not. It's not going to do that. Yeah. Okay. Because if you get a really high powered flashlight and you shine on a possum's face, they just stop. <laughs> they do. And then they're like, "He can't see me right now. He can't see me. He can't see me. If I don't move, he can't see me." <laughs> 
it's just fun for you. It's like fun and games. Possums. So, I mean, yeah. Possums. So having multiple things. So so Joel McHale's oh, yeah. a little no, you bit of a see horner. see how many t-shirts I have. It's, and I'm like, well, maybe I'll wear that at some point. Okay. But if you put a like a tracer on my clothing, this is what I wear every day. Okay. I relate to that because I feel like I have a ton of like white shirts, but I still always go for my one favorite white shirt. But I need the other. This 10. is why we need that Amy Poehler show. Why we do need the Amy Poehler show. Yeah. We need like a home organizer or somebody yeah, to come in and be like, this is really out. This do. is out. I do feel like I'm pretty good at purging, but uh, like getting rid of things. But um, this is such a funny and it's such an interesting. I thing still have DVDs to learn about you. I don't know what I'm doing with them. Of what? Man, obscure British shows. Obscure British shows. Yeah, that's I. That's not ex- what I thought you were going to say. So, what obscure British shows do you love? What do you have a? Okay, I don't know, Father Ted. It's great. I don't know Father Ted. Should I know Father Ted? Uh, Red Dwarf. Okay, Fucking I should also know great that. Great show. <laughs> it is. Okay, it's, go go watch Red Dwarf, guys. She's writing it down. Okay, great. It's um, great. And then okay, so you, I, and it was a huge hit in England, but not not big here. Do you have a comfort show? Do you have a show that you're just like, I need to watch something that even though I've seen it 15 million times, it kind of just brings me peace? Basketball well, highlights. <laughs> basketball highlights. NFL you are, highlights. Okay, that uh, makes sense. No, I mean, if, if something like, what the, the movie Edge of Tomorrow was on two nights ago, and I was like, oh, I'm going to watch every minute of this. Even though you've seen it? Even though I've seen a lot. It's a fantastic movie. You love Edge of Tomorrow. I love the movie Edge of Tomorrow. I love that you love that movie. Well, why do you love that I love it? Well, because I don't feel like it's like the movie a lot of people go to. It's to, so to watchable. Say. No, yeah. I didn't. I didn't dial it up. Yeah, it was just on like Back to the Future. Oh, right. Forever oh. in my life, whenever it would be on, I'd be like, okay. Yeah, I'm yes. the Rocky movies on that. I love well Rocky foremost. Even you like what does it? Yeah, when it gets into the other like Beyond Four. Uh, it depends. I do love the Creeds. I love them so much. Right, I which is di- different type of yeah. Totally, I didn't love Five. But Rocky One is probably like my go-to. I mean, it's one of the greatest movies ever made. I love. I mean, it. Rocky Two is fucking great too. Rocky Two is great. Rocky Hard three to pull is... off a sequel. I'm Rocky Three. Fucking club by line. Yeah, and uh, I saw Carl Weathers this weekend at this Detroit City Comic Con thing that I did. Yeah, he's how gonna... did he look? He looks amazing. He looks amazing, and he's going to be on our Psych podcast because he did an episode of Psych, and he was. We like literally just ambushed him, and and I think he was like, oh, no pressure at all that you're both just sitting in front of me asking to do your podcast right now. It worked though. So he could. Oh, so he agreed. Yeah, he it agreed. wasn't. He was like, I'd absolutely love to. And then they're like, his agents won't return our calls. No, he was very much like, I've only done like one other podcast, but I will do yours. That's what he said. So I feel we feel very honored that that's he's amazing. That. Yeah, he's amazing. No, he is amazing. Action Jackson and jo- Joel Predator and uh, Predator. Yeah. yeah, he was amazing in Predator. He was so good in Predator. Actually. He's un- very underappreciated for what he pulled off. He's yeah, he's an he's an unbelievable actor actually. He's like, so good yeah. in that I mean he's good in everything, but in that first Rocky movie when uh Rocky's on TV hitting the meat and he's yeah. like, "Guys, <laughs> come check this out." That yeah. was, that's such a great moment. It's such a great uh that's such a great scene. That movie still makes me cry. Um My kids love those movies. Really? Yeah. Still, like, and they love Creed. Yeah, they're so good. They're really so good. I love a good sports movie. Uh, that is that is a go-to for me, too. Hoosiers. Caddyshack. Caddyshack. <laughs> it's the most popular sports movie of all time. <laughs> it's true. Is that, is that really? Oh, it's a great movie. Oh, I love Caddyshack. No, yeah, but, is no it like, but it is a sports movie, technically. No, it is a sports movie. North Dallas 40. Um, uh, it's a football movie. Yeah. Slapshot with uh, Paul Newman. Love and Basketball. Have you seen Love and Basketball? Is that the Basketball Diaries one? No. No, I haven't. Oh. I haven't seen the Basketball Diaries either. Joel, it's so good. Okay. Teen uh, Wolf, one of the better basketball movies. Teen Wolf is a good basketball movie. Mm. I think it's a good basketball movie. I'm it's keeping not track the greatest of your, basketball your action. time here. Blue Chips, the Blue Chip. Right. That was good. Shaq. <laughs> Shaq was in it. <laughs> Shaq was in it. Yes. Um, Bobby Knight was in it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to know about your me time before you avoid uh, answering any I of do, the This other... is my me time. Is no. This. Talking about this. Oh, what else do I do? Oh, I watch a lot of... I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of combat footage on Reddit now from the Ukrainian war, and I watch a lot of that. You watch combat footage from the war? Uh, yeah, it's they post it. The Ukrainian arm, Ukrainian military does. Wait, I didn't know that existed. Yeah. I have a friend who watched... Okay, go on. They what show is the, it on the news all the time. What but, is the thing with... Like, okay. But then I... Like, my other fun thing to do is, like, I because I like history. I was a history major in college, yeah. so... Like, I don't know, like I just did a deep dive with the Korean War and 
Really? Covered. Yeah, I love all that stuff. I mean, I didn't love the fact they went to war, but um, I follow that stuff all the time. Do you have a favorite book? Oh, you so you listen to audiobooks. What is your favorite? What is your go-to favorite book of all time? Well, I mean, obviously favorite book of all time, but like, what is your go-to if you're like picking like an audiobook for a flight? Oh, History? yeah, yeah. Right now, I'm listening to a book called Drunk, which is about how. They think that it was beer before bread, so it was. That's a common well evolution of the human of human civilization. Was they? It wasn't just hunter gatherers, and they were like, we should grow crops, and then a city will happen, and then a civilization. They think it was the opposite, and they went, hey, this grain we gather can get us drunk. Are you serious? Yeah, and they're like, what should we do? They're like, we gotta fucking grow it, and so in almost. Any history account from the, the oldest ones are Chinese. They are like they were like, "Hey, you guys got to cut out the drinking. <laughs> you guys got to be careful." And that's yeah. So that is the theory. That's this theory, and I find it fascinating. I love that. Um, and I read this book called "How to Hide an Empire." It's really great. What's how to hide an empire? How to hide an empire? Yeah. Okay. About how uh, America after World War II was like, we don't need to take over any countries. Just need to build uh, airstrips. And, you know, then like the, we, we made, we, when we went to World War One we were like, all the parts for the cars and the planes are all different. Maybe we can get these, uh, the people in Denmark to make our stuff. And that's just like, we take it for granted that red lights and green lights are what make, when we're at stop signs and stuff. We invented the stop sign. It was invented in Michigan. What? I'm not kidding. Yes. By a cop. And, um. Really? Yes. And in, in New York, before. Red light meant go. Right. And then green light meant stop. No, no. Yes. And then none of the rules were all, none of the rules, like all the states had different rules. And so they're like, okay, this is what we got to do. You heard it here first, everybody. It was used to be the other yeah. way around. Red light, green light was green light, red light. That was in New York, but not in other places. That's crazy. It's crazy. It's uh, crazy all that stuff just comes, like, how did that all happen? I love that you love learning about all of this stuff in your, in your, uh, yeah, in I like your that shit. books. That's but good. then I, I went to, like, for a while I did, uh, I like science fiction books a lot. I do a lot of those. Three Body Problem I thought was great. Okay, um, cool. But then I, uh, I, once in a while, listen to a Jack Reacher book. Yay! That, sorry. <laughs> I'm Yay. excited about that. Because I feel, I don't know, that goes along with like The Edge of Tomorrow and uh, uh, The Edge of Tomorrow is a do. great movie. It is a great movie. It's just like, it's very fun sometimes. Like, I like that kind of zone out thing. I go back and like rewatch, I watch the same episode of Sex in the City when I just like needed like a little comfort food of my, like I've oh, seen. Oh yeah, the, I don't do that. I've seen Sex in the City, the I Heart New York episode probably like 50 times just because I. I've it, never seen okay. that show. Anyway. <laughs> I didn't get into that show as a, as a 90s. Oh, I got into it way later, but now I'm like completely obsessed with it. It's my little comfort thing. I will say, I think every time I see it, I'm like, these performances are very good. Yeah. These people are great. It's really, really And it captures, when I'm watching, I'm like, oh, this really captured a moment in New York. Right. And to this, it's weird to have like young people come up and be like, oh, you were in New York in the 90s? And I was like, well, I visited a number of times. Like, what was it like? I'm like. I don't know. It's a lot like now. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. But they were like, here was the most amazing time. I was like, I thought New York in the 70s was supposed to be the most New amazing York time. New York all the time is, in a, is yeah. an amazing time. In my opinion, I think it's the greatest. I, I love was just story. there and I was I was there last week and uh, uh, promoting Crime Scene Kitchen on Fox. But yeah. I was just like, oh yeah, this is, it just, ha I've never lived there. I've just been there so many times and in the best, I mean, I love visiting and, but I, I've only been there a few times in the winter where I was like, oh, this is why people say it sucks. Oh, uh, right. Of course. When I put my foot I into three feet of slush, I was like, oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. This is when people watch the Rose Bowl and go, wait a minute, it's 70 degrees in Southern California right now. Yeah. That all said, I fucking love L.A. <laughs> no, I do too. I, I, I love it here and it's, it's a national pastime to shit on it. I, I'm aware. I want to be aware oh, I know. for a little time here. Got, but this, how, many, how long have we been going? Warm. We've been going like a little while, but I was yeah, like, I thought I was going having like a hot flash. No, I was kind of the same way. But okay, so I feel like what we've what we we've learned about Joel's me time today is he likes to hoard. I like things. how you like to come back to the. It's very good. You I'm come just back saying. To the, uh, no, we don't even. No, have to come I'm. Back a, to I, it. I'd like to think think of myself as a luxurious hoarder. I okay. I, I have tuxedos that I wore like. I don't know, 15 years ago. You still have. And I'll be like, maybe my kids will wear them. And then I just hear an echo, wear them, wear them, wear them. And then they're like, Joel. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like half an hour has passed and you're just staring off into the ceiling. Huh? Oh, let's eat. And, uh, but uh, yeah, no, I should, I, 
Yeah. Yeah. Gotta yeah. Get rid of shit. Yeah. Joel, all right. Is there anything you want to like? I mean, literally, Animal Control just got picked up for season two. It did, thank God. Uh, I mean, again, we don't know where we're coming back, but uh, right. willing to wait. As I mean, I hang in there. The writers need to get everything that they're asking for. And right, right. And we'll see. We'll but see. Crime but Scene Kitchen, I don't know when this kitchen. airs, but Crime Scene Kitchen starts next month. I can see your voice. I can see your voice will be on. And then what House else? of Villains on E is going to come out. What's and, House of Villains? Uh, it's like uh, Big Brother. They took all the villains from reality shows of the last 20 years and they put them in the same house. And I host it. And How did I not know this? Well, it just got announced. Oh, so okay, cool. We already taped it, though. Oh, fun. Uh, oh, that so, sounds fun. And it's, I will say, when I was watching the competitions, because everyone's, like, good at it. Yeah. Like, they're good. Like, there's not, everyone's a good competitor. And so I'm like, oh, this could be great. I mean, I think it'll, I think it'll add it well together. I love, okay, I love this. I like talking about all that you're doing. You're yeah, no, you know, people. it makes me go, oh, right, I really said... Yeah, no, I love it all. I mean, I'd say yes too much, but I when I'm doing it, I love it. You're one of my favorite people on the whole planet, Joel, and I really, That's really— That's sad. No, it's not. <laughs> He's the greatest. You're the great. I'm telling you. Like, no, you're like well, one of the greatest No, and I will say, people. you're so nice, but, it's you know, true. I feel like Hollywood going gets a shitty rap uh, because 5% of the people are crazy and they get all the press and they're famous, but I would say 95% 98% of the people are some of the best people on the planet. And you're you're above those folks. Oh, Joel, See? stop. That's nice. That means I just really insulted a lot of my friends. I, <laughs> same, actually. <laughs> like, but I, there's no better business in the world. I can't, like, when people are like, so cutthroat, I'm like, yeah, name a business that's not. It's so true. And I feel I'm the same way. I feel like we've both been really lucky, but I also think uh, yes, it's we a have. Yeah. But uh, we also worked our butts off so we worked our butts off i feel like you are like well i mean i would like to say for i feel very lucky that like we have the friends that we have and i think you're right i think this business can sometimes get a bad rap of like you know it's it's filled with a lot of fake people and blah 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 i feel so lucky that i, I have like I've the nicest a lot of fake friends. people in salt lake city so yeah same yeah exactly <laughs> there's a really good movie called gods and monsters yeah yeah it's great there it's, it is it's uh with mr uh Brendan Fraser Who's, and, uh, uh, you know, the super famous British uh, Gandalf is in um, it. Gandalf. Oh, right. Ian McKellen. Ian McKellen. Yeah. And it's a really great movie about the movie business. Yeah. I love that movie. I haven't seen it in a long time. I go, go check it out. It. Um, Brendan Fraser, Oscar winner. Thank you again for being my very first guest on Me Time with First time. Maggie Look at this. Lawson. First and last. First. <laughs> this was so much fun. Even though I'm, uh, I'm very warm now. We are. Um, I mean, it is. It we're is getting a, to hot yoga. I levels literally. Here. I would keep talking, but there's also this part of me that's like, I think <sighs> I'm. Uh, there yeah, at one melting. point I was like, am I, <laughs> am I having food poisoning? Mm -hmm. Nope. It's just the room. I thought those were windows at one point. Oh my god! Right. No. Those it's, are. Those are a I lot will of say in there. for this space. Yeah. It is really well done. Like, it's well put together for this. And it's like a simple little I thing. mean, look, it's like an old-timey cabin, but it's really, uh, you know, a building from the 80s. It's a cozy space um, yes. that we Can love. Can you imagine having people here? Um, no, I actually It would just can't. be, welcome to Flop Sweat. Welcome to. Uh, I'm your welcome host. Welcome to the Sweat Lodge yeah. Uh, podcast. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna enter, we're going to have a vision quest. Because um, our internal body and temperature will be up to. Uh, yeah, no, I'm saying. No, I'm Maggie Lawson, good. I think. I just hope at some point we get to play brother and sister. Yeah, I know. We've played Love Interest how many times? And we actually forget that we haven't played brother and sister because every time we see each other, we're like, oh, brother, sister. I thought that we did. And then yeah. I was like, I think I'm a crazy person. Yeah. I literally thought we had played. And then I was like, No, you maybe, literally did. Yeah. yeah, I was like, well, maybe in one of those, I thought the whole time we were brother and sister. Yeah. And no. then I realized, oh, we were. A couple. Yeah, a couple that's kind of times we've weird. been a couple. But that I would think that we were brother and sister. Yeah, I remember. I think we were doing no. Santa Clarita Diet, and you said that you were like, "I we posted something that was like brother sister, right. uh, love interest, whatever." Well, yeah, and I was like, "That's funny. We haven't played that yet." Why did that's that our show, next job. Let's that show play. should have, that show should still be on. Let's be. It absolutely should still be on. That show was very. I loved that show. I love Victor Fresco, too, who created it. That guy's a fucking genius. Yeah. Um, he has a show with Rob Lowe on Netflix now. Oh. Uh, yeah. With his son that he does with his son. Um, that Johnny, guy. Johnny Lowe. 
Is it Johnny Law? That's his son. Is it? Is that yeah. Son? Okay. He's a know. great guy. He really is. Yeah. His, if you look up Johnny Low Instagram post comments about his dad's, <laughs> about his dad's posts, they are so funny. Really? They okay. They are so great. I want to look that up. Like his dad, like he had his Emmys behind him and he was like, had his towel around. He's all sweaty. He was just like, got another workout in. And then he just were like, the subtle art of including your Emmys in the background. <laughs> oh, good. So he's just Instagram trolling his own post. dad. It is so funny. I love it. Really funny guy. Apparently, very. I mean, on, I haven't seen like his work or whatever. But when I read the script, very and I said he was playing the son. It was like everyone was like, "Oh, oh and if you want to, yeah, he's very. Talented. If you want to listen to a great podcast, I'm going to yeah. promote a different podcast. Rob Lowe interviewing Michael Douglas on his podcast is some of the most amazing things you, he was talking. It's so great. Okay, it's, I can't recommend it enough. And me time. <laughs> with Maggie Lawson. We can get back to me time. That I give. Were you like, were you Margaret? I, I am Margaret. Yeah, I'm am Margaret I? Cassidy. I was Margaret O. Cassidy. Cassidy. Drop the O. Yeah, that's the. Oh, that's the last Irish name. side. Yeah, Margaret. Uh, no, I'm I'm Margaret. I'm Jeez. Lawson is my real last name. We should name, probably do a DNA test. We probably yeah. should. We probably are. Like uh, people have said, like my brothers at times, like they're look, they'll be like, "Has anyone ever told you like Joel McHale is my brother?" <laughs> so when I was like, "Oh, Joel McHale," that's uh, Gillian <laughs> weird. Jacobs and I also look alike. Oh yeah, totally. And there was an episode of Community where they took half of our faces and put them together in a poster. <laughs> oh no! Of course, they had to blow hers up a little bit to fit my enormous face. But I was like, "Oh, we've we look way too much alike." Why do you say these things about? Why do you think you have an enormous face? Why are you like? I do. I have a big, things? like I have a seven and a half inch head. You do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at the back of this thing. It's all look at that. It's like a Where normal human being. <laughs> you do not. I guess that's not too. Bad. I don't think anybody will look at you and think you have an enormous head. So just so you know. Okay. Yeah. All right. But well, you say these things about yourself. Yeah, you can hear the voice in my head. Talking. Got it. Thank you for the diet coke. You're welcome. I and hope I, you enjoyed the spin drift. I do. I like I, their story a lot. Have you heard their the guy who started it? Um, I I just actually looked it up because I was just sent a bunch of spindrift to uh, which I'll be putting a post out about a little bit later. But yeah, so spindrift. I, okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> because and I was like, so I dr I'm always drinking one on the other podcast, and then they reached out like in the video or whatever, and they reached out and they like sent me like six cases of it, and I'm obsessed. I love them. I, I love do the too. story, and I love the story, and it's so tasty. It's so good, and it's and not when you add fake six shit. Ounces of well, yeah, and that was one of the. You know how uh, it used to be that when stuff like this was put out, you would say like other ingredients. Does right. say they were the first to go like, what are these other ingredients? They were yeah. like, you have to put that. They were like, why legally? And they're like, but it's not. Yeah. And no. they, yeah, they broke the, they broke that wide open. They broke the mold. What were you gonna say about vodka? Oh, I'm kidding. Oh, I don't. You're not kidding. No, I don't add vodka to oh, spin oh, drift. Oh, okay, no. But I bet it would taste really good. I don't either. But I, I bet mean, it tastes really good. Vodka's tasteless, but vodka's not tasteless. It tastes like alcohol. Okay. Yeah, it does. It it's actually the cleanest like, of them uh, all. But yeah. you know, what's gin? It's just a bunch of juniper berries. I'm gonna. <laughs> that's. I love gin though. Ken Burns uh, documentary, guys. You should uh, the on prohibition. Um, I will be. Oh, I did. I have seen some it's of great. this. Yes, and, and I, the Vietnam one is probably the best documentary ever made in the history of documentaries. Thank you. You are a history buff. I like this. Yeah, I have, yeah, it's great. Just got the history of bourbon. I'm excited. I'm gonna read that. As we talk about our, as we walked in today, talking about our, both of us having a fear that we've turned into functional. Yes, <laughs> that there was a group intervention happening to everybody all at once. We had a little time. You have a problem. The, you have a problem. <laughs> before our podcast started today, where we were all like, "Wait, I think, we all have a problem. We just cancel each other out." Okay, great. Everybody has a problem. Yeah, we can. You guys want to get a drink? Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna go get a drink now. Anyway, um, I'm gonna wrap this up because I love you and I'm and I am aware of the time and I will talk to you all what effing day. You need to go pick up your son. But thank you so much. To, I, I just ad Maggie adore Lawson. you, Joel McHale, so much. And I appreciate you being here. You are like the busiest man in Hollywood and sharing anything, you, any time you have and anything about yourself, which I know is not easy for you to do. And I really appreciate you. I will cross any, uh, I'll step over any dead body for Maggie Lawson. I'm kidding. Same. Well, you. This is apparently what you do in your me time. I mean, if they're dead, somebody. they're dead, so right? You what literally are, are do? doing that for me for my podcast True. because we had to talk about See? what you do to feel like Kill yourself again. Okay, it's coming that's back. It. It's coming back. To something dark. <laughs> we brought it. All Goodbye, right, let's go everybody. Get let's go get tattoos. Let's go get. Let's go get alcohol. Hey. <laughs>